Oxford University Press is renowned worldwide for its excellence in dictionary publishing. As the makers of the OED and a department of Oxford University, Oxford is already a world leader in the dissemination of English language materials and publishes resources in more than 40 languages. We've recently announced an exciting new global languages initiative where we'll be working with communities across the globe to curate lexical content in 100 languages, many of which currently have very few digital resources available. To support this ambitious endeavor, OUP technologists are building an innovative system to integrate and link together all that lexical content. Language is interconnected through various types of relationships. Translation. Word A in this language means word B in that language. Synonymy. Word A is another word for word B. Antonymy. Word A means the opposite of word B. Derivation. Word A gave rise to word B. Domain classification. Words X, Y, Z are particular to a specific domain or subject. Region classification. Words X, Y, Z are local to a specific region. Register classification. Words X, Y, Z are considered to be a specific level of language usage. Using semantic technologies, we can encode linguistic relationships in a model called an ontology. In computer science, an ontology is a list of the concepts and categories in a subject area that shows their properties and the relationships between them. Our ontology models language concepts and their relationships. It enables us to connect lexical resources in a vast machine-readable knowledge graph. Our new system takes language content like dictionary entries, lists of synonyms, or verb tables, and puts these through a series of data transformations. The transformations restructure the data and prepare it to connect with other language resources. Once prepared, we can apply advanced linking algorithms relying on natural language processing, machine learning, and other cutting edge techniques, which will ultimately improve online search, navigation, and discovery. Once the system's up and running, it will help our editorial teams create exciting new content and consistent language data. It will also open doors to fascinating online journeys. For example, start with a single word, say graph, and you're able to pull up its definitions, pronunciations, translations, etymology, and so on. In the etymology for graph, you find graphic, and you can learn that graphic derives from the Latin graphicus. In a further step, you learn it comes from a Greek root. This Greek root spawned hundreds of English derivatives. You click on a word and scroll through a list of possible translations. Is there an Arabic translation? Is there a French translation? Is there a Chinese translation? What about Portuguese? Using this innovative system, Oxford's new Global Language Initiative will combine and harness knowledge and expertise from native speakers with OUP's expertise in lexicography and language technology. To find out more about Oxford's Global Language Initiative, visit OxfordDictionaries.com OGL.